हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द लेक्चर सीरीज ऑफ फ्लूड मैकेनिक्स एंड हाइड्रोलिक मशीन्स माई सेल्फ ध्रुव पटेल इन अवर टूडेज लेक्चर वी विल लर्न अबाउट अवर लास्ट चैप्टर दैट इज हाइड्रोलिक मशीन्स सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल टॉपिक्स टू बी कवर ड्यूरिंग दिस चैप्टर सो फर्स्ट टॉपिक विल बी हाइड्रोलिक प्रेस सेकेंड टॉपिक विल बी हाइड्रोलिक एक्यूमुलेटर देन वी विल लर्न हाइड्रोलिक इंटेंसीफायर देन हाइड्रोलिक लिफ्ट एज वेल एज हाइड्रोलिक क्रेन देन हाइड्रोलिक जैक देन वी विल लर्न हाइड्रोलिक रैम फ्लूड कपलिंग्स एंड टॉर कन्वर्टर एंड एट द लास्ट वी विल लर्न अबाउट एयर लिफ्ट सो इन दिस चैप्टर वी विल लर्न अबाउट टेन वेरियस बेसिक हाइड्रोलिक मशीन विच विल बी यूज इन डे टू डे लाइफ ऑल्सो राइट सो अवर फर्स्ट टॉपिक विल बी हाइड्रोलिक प्रेस सो वट डू यू मीन बाई हाइड्रोलिक प्रेस इन एनी काइंड ऑफ ए मशीन वी विल लर्न थ्री थिंग्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल फंक्शन ऑफ दैट मशीन कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ दैट मशीन एंड बेसिक वर्किंग ऑफ दैट मशीन प्लेयर स्टूडेंट्स सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल हाइड्रोलिक प्रेस सो फंक्शन ऑफ द हाइड्रोलिक प्रेस इट इज यूज टू लिफ्ट हैवी लोड बाय मच स्मॉलर एफर्ट प्लेयर स्टूडेंट्स इट इज यूज फॉर लिफ्टिंग हैवी लोड बाय मच स्मॉलर फोर्स नाउ अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस स्केच हाइड्रोलिक प्रेस is this in this sketch what is construction of it so one f force is applied in the right hand side this is piston or we can say plunger this is plunger small cross sectional area so we can write small a in the left hand side one w weight is placed above the ram this is called as a ram and this is larger area so we can write capital a right so in this machine we will use small effort f and we will lift much higher force W right that is known as hydraulic press. So let us see one animation of the hydraulic press machine. So according to the animation, remember this in the left hand side small cross sectional area. So A one in the left hand side in the left hand side force will be F one. In the right hand side larger cross sectional area A two and force F two. Here we can put our weight W. Right. So from the much smaller force F one we can raise much higher weight w so in this case if we apply f1 from here w can be moved in upward direction so we can understand pascal's law from this hydraulic press right so if we apply much smaller force in the small cross sectional area we can get much higher force in the larger cross sectional area that is known as hydraulic press function right so it works on basically pascal's law so what do you mean by pascal's law we have already studied pascal's law in our first chapter so pascal's law is for the steady fluid right pressure intensity is same in the all direction so if we apply pressure intensity of 100 amount so we will get pressure intensity of 100 amount in this direction also clear students so this is simple construction and working of hydraulic press pressure intensity at piston is equal to pressure intensity as plunger so from this sketch we already know about it pressure that means force by area that means pressure intensity at piston that is force w and capital a that is larger area so w by a is equal to force f divided by small cross sectional area a right that is known as main aim of a pascal's law now let us understand what do you mean by mechanical advantage so mechanical advantage that means load to be lifted divided by load supplied so here from this sketch load to be lifted it capital w and load supplied is capital f so w by f that is known as our mechanical advantage right so student this is our first basic machines which is known as hydraulic press so in the hydraulic machines we can lift heavy load by much application of smaller forces clear students now let us understand hydraulic accumulator so hydraulic accumulator so first of all functions of the hydraulic accumulator is to store the energy of a fluid under pressure and this energy may be supplied or used in sudden requirement to the any hydraulic machines like hydraulic press hydraulic lift hydraulic crane all the times we can use any sudden energy from the hydraulic accumulator so hydraulic accumulator is basically a storing device of hydraulic energy right with the use of under pressure right so first of all let us see the sketch of hydraulic accumulator so let us understand basic construction of hydraulic accumulator so in the construction of hydraulic accumulator one inlet is applied from the pump so we can apply higher pressure liquid from the pump and this is outlet pipe one fixed ram or fixed plunger is connected 
on the plunger sliding cylinder will be there and on the cylinder one fixed ram will be there so using this construction we will supply higher amount of pressure energy to the any need right so let us see one video of the hydraulic accumulator so in the video of hydraulic accumulator pressure from the pump is supplied so with this pressure energy sliding ram is moving in the upward and downward direction from that sliding ram we can generate or we can store higher amount of energy in the hydraulic accumulator right let us understand from the basic sketch so whenever we are supplying some amount of fluid energy or with the use of pressure fluid so pressure fluid will be go in this direction so this is one fluid with the use of higher pressure let us understand from this case also so higher pressure fluid is flowing in the inlet pipe right so with the use of higher pressure energy sliding ram is moving in the upward direction so if we want to store this amount of energy then sliding ram will be fixed at the upper side because higher amount of pressure energy will be stored here and this is outlet pipe or outlet pipe will be connected to the hydraulic press or hydraulic lift or we can say hydraulic crane also so whenever we are requiring higher amount of energy in any type of a machine so we can supply this amount of energy to the that machine with the use of hydraulic accumulator so that is basic purpose of hydraulic accumulator to store higher amount of pressure energy and release the pressure energy to the any machine whenever it is required clear now let us understand hydraulic intensifier so function of the hydraulic intensifier is to increase the intensity of the pressure of liquid by means of energy available for, from large quantity of water at low pressure this is a key word remember students in hydraulic intensifier we don't have to use higher amount of pressure energy at inlet we have to generate or we have to intensify our pressure energy with the use of lower pressure only clear students so let us understand it by sketch so in the construction of the hydraulic intensifier one fixed ram will be there above the one fixed ram one sliding ram will be there and above that sliding ram one fixed cylinder or large cylinder will be there so there will be a three type of a cylinder first one will be fixed ram which is small on that we have to mount sliding ram and on that we have to mount large fixed cylinder there will be four valves first valve will be v1 that is inlet from the low supply pressure energy that is our inlet valve clear student we can say this that is our inlet valve v2 that means our final output valve so that is our output valve higher amount of intensity pressure will be released from v2 valve v3 will be exhaust valve which is used to the exhaust to the fluid and v4 will be lower pressure supply from our liquid so this v1 and v4 both will be our inlet valve clear students so remember this v1 and v4 that is our inlet valve here v2 that is our final outlet valve and here v3 that is our exhaust valve clear students so let us understand basically a working of the hydraulic intensifier step by step so remember students in the hydraulic intensifier we have to use lower amount of pressure energy and with the use of lower amount of pressure energy we have to generate a higher amount of pressure intensity for the pump or any kind of material right so remember this this is our input so first of all let us take v1 valve as a open so we can say this as v1 valve is open low pressure liquid from the our supply will go in this direction and in this direction right so low pressure liquid valve will low pressure liquid will supply to the inlet valve to the sliding ram from the low pressure liquid sliding ram is slightly moving to the upward direction at that time our exhaust valve will be closed and our v4 valve will be close so whenever the v, we are applying v1 is open so v2 v3 and v4 is closed at first v2 v3 and v4 is closed clear students so when the v1 valve is open sliding ram is moving in the upward side due to low pressure of the liquid in the sliding ram section right low pressure liquid will be stored here so sliding ram will slightly moving in the upward direction clear students so that is our first function that v1 valve is open and all other valve will be 
closed right now let us take v4 wall is open at that time v3 wall and v2 wall is closed so what happen if the v4 wall is open then with the use of lower pressure from the above side sliding where ram will be moving in the slightly in the downward direction so liquid stored here in the previous process will be going in the downward side from the fixed ram right it is a small cross sectional area so liquid will move in the larger cross sectional area to the smaller cross sectional area so liquid is moving in the smaller cross sectional area so pressure intensity of the liquid is increasing so after the first function we are opening v4 wall so lower pressure liquid will come in the upward side direction right so sliding ram will be moving in the downward direction slowly so liquid stored in the sliding ram will be moving in the downward side and at the downward side smaller cross sectional area will be there so that pressure intensity is increased at that time we have to open v2 wall right and we have to close the v3 wall so all the pressure intensity will going in the v2 wall and v1 wall will be closed right so all the lower pressure liquid will be co converted into higher pressure liquid and will be moving in the downward side respectively so we can get higher pressure liquid to any type of a machine right now repeat this procedure again so again we have to open v1 valve at that time lower pressure liquid will go in this direction or liquid will stored in the sliding ram direction so sliding ram will be moving in the upper direction slightly right so at that time v4 valve is closed but our v3 valve will be opened so exhaust fluid will be going into this direction this is our exhaust fluid after the sliding ram will reach its above position once again we have to open v4 valve so what happens sliding ram will be moving in the downward direction so with the use of this pressure we can generate higher pressure liquid or we can use this liquid in any type of a machine this is basic purpose of hydraulic intensity fire so student remember this we have to supply intensity fire lower pressure liquid from the both valve v1 and v2 respectively right one by one we have to open v1 and then after we have to open v4 whenever we are going to open v1 valve sliding ram moving in the upward direction and whenever we are going to open v4 valve then sliding ram will be moving in the downward direction so we will get higher pressure liquid to the any type of a machine that is basic working of hydraulic intensifier clear students so remember this this is complicated sketch you have to just remember that you have to draw three cylinders bottom side fixed ram above side sliding ram and at the top one large fixed cylinder four wire will be there v1 and v4 will be inlet valve from the bottom and top respectively our v2 valve will be final outlet valve for the higher pressure and our v3 valve will be for the exhaust valve in the construction and in the working we have to first open v1 valve then sliding ram will be moving in the upward direction then we will open v4 valve then sliding ram will be moving in the downward direction from the downward direction liquid will move in the larger smaller cross sectional area here from the larger cross sectional area of the sliding ram so pressure intensity of the liquid is increasing so that is our main function of hydraulic intensifier dear students so that is it from the today's point of view thank you for watching my lecture and keep revising fluid mechanics